Oh man, Jesus. Oh God, Lucasfilm. Oh, you know, you guys really don't do yourselves any favors here. Mm, mm, mm. Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy lied to all the fans, which for the record, anybody with any type of IQ would already know that it was absolutely horseshit that Ray's original origin was going to be a Palpatine. Anybody who knows anybody, if you go back and even watch the original Force Awakens teaser trailers, you can tell she was not supposed to be a Palpatine. But no, Lucasfilm completely came out and lied to us, and Daisy Ridley has given us the proof. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. So, um, yeah, this just came out. I had a bunch of people send me send me links to this. Other people are already doing videos on this, and I'm and it says Daisy Ridley reveals original origin of Rey Kenobi plot in Star Wars. So she's saying originally she was told she was going to be a Kenobi. A lot of people had that had that you know prediction after Force Awakens. I never really bought into the Kenobi thing. I was like, okay, I mean, I guess how would that work? I mean, I guess he got busy on tattooing or something. Um, I would be curious to how that was going to work. Um, I know she she used a lot of the same tricks that that Ben used, Obi Wan used, so I can see that working. I never really bought into that. I, I always thought she was going to be a Skywalker. I always felt in my in my head canon in my head canon um, that she was a Skywalker. Because even if you go back to that Force Awakens uh, trailer, you know you have Luke go the the Force runs strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. You have that too. You know, meaning like why why would you go out of your way to put that specific line of dialogue in the Force Awakens trailer? Uh, so I always felt like. They, they were playing with the idea of her being a Skywalker. Maybe Luke had a daughter, and then Kylo, like, murdered, like, everybody and his wife, and Luke had to send his daughter to Jakku, something like that. Um, but they ended up going with, you know, Rey being a Palpatine, which everybody, you know, I still think is asinine. It's absolutely asinine. You know, even even reading the novelization that clears it up a little bit more, makes it a little more sense, it's absolutely asinine. So Daisy really comes out, and um, this is Hollywood Reporter, so this is 100% credible. And uh, we're going to kind of get to um, what she said right here, right right here, what she said. She said, at the beginning, there was toying with the an Obi-Wan connection. So they didn't even know in the beginning. They were just toying around with the Obi-Wan connection. Um, there were different versions. Then it really went into this no one. And then it came to episode nine, and J.J. pitched me the film and was like, oh, yeah, Palpatine is your great-granddaddy or is your granddaddy. Uh, said really then two weeks later he was like oh we're not sure so uh jj you still want to say palpatine was part of the plan buddy w what what could what because daisy just said you're full of shit so you still want to say palpatine was a part of the plan the entire time get the fuck out of here dude you fucking twinkle toe fucking dickhead um always part of the plan and um and then she said oh not sure yet it kept changing. So then when we were filming, I wasn't sure what answer was going to be. Um, wow. So like when they started. So John Boyega apparently isn't the only one that's having beef with, with the way this trilogy went down. You know, uh, the the lack of direction is clear as day. Anybody who is anybody knows that the lack of direction was there. Like you look at Force Awakens. Last Jedi was a completely different film. Then you look at Rise of Skywalker, and that's a completely different film, you know? So the the lack of direction, say what you want about George Lucas. I know a lot of people give him a lot of shit about the prequels. The prequels had an outline. He knew where he was going with everything, you know? George Lucas, his, his episode 7, 8, 9 would have had a connection. He had an outline for the entire trilogy. You knew where things were going to go. Disney was like, hey, we're going to do this film, we're going to do this film, and then we're going to do this film. We're not going to worry about connecting. You can't build a universe like that. Can you imagine Kevin Feige going, yeah, we're going to do phase five, and um, we're just going to take it movie by movie and see where it goes. Like, what? What? That's not how you run a successful business model. I'm a fucking small-time YouTube channel, and even I know what I have to do throughout the entire week in order to get to the end of the week. What the hell? Oh, my God. It kills me. The, 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 the lack of... Oh, that just kills me. Um, 
So she's like, yeah, I wasn't sure what the answer was going to be when they started filming. It appears that um, it appears that Abram had one idea in mind when co-writer and director of Force Awaken, um, which Last Jedi writer and director uh, derailed. Then Abrams had to rethink the original plan and amiss uh, John's, uh, Johnson's changes. Um, went in and signed on Rise of Skywalker. So yeah, that's pretty much what he said. It sounded like when when JJ and Lawrence Kasdan did Force Awakens, they had one idea in mind. Maybe a Kenobi. Maybe a Kenobi. Because she says right here, she said right here. She didn't confirm it was Kenobi. She said at the beginning they were toying with an Obi Wan connection. Toying with an Obi Wan connection. Never once did they say it was confirmed that she was going to be a Kenobi. So I want to get that out there. I know a lot of people are going to be running headlines going, Ray was supposed to be a Kenobi. She said, toying with. What I get from this sentence and statement is the fact that they never knew what the fuck she was going to be. Right? They're fucking stupid. They never knew what the fuck she was going to be. So that's what I get from it. So they're toying with the connection. So from what I understand was Lawrence Kasdan, J.J. did Force Awakens. They had no idea where, where, where she was going to go, and they were toying with the idea of maybe an Obi-Wan connection, okay? Then in Last Jedi, Ryan Johnson, much as I, 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 I enjoy Last Jedi, I like Last Jedi, he derailed everything. I'll be the first person there. Everything that they were trying to set up, he went in a completely different direction with. Completely just fucked everything that J.J., whatever J.J. was trying to set up, that all went down the shit. Okay, then Rise of Skywalker came and they, they were like trying to please everybody like they went on Reddit and found a fucking poll and they were like, hey, she's a Palpatine, check, uh, Raylo, check, um, let's fix Luke's character a little bit, check, you know, um, like Palpatine's back, check, you know, like every fucking thing you could do that like they just went down and check Lando, check, Baba, check, Baba. like that's all they did, right, they, JJ literally went on Reddit Found a bunch of fan theories and just did that. That's how bad this trilogy is. And it kills me to say that. I'm a massive Star Wars fan, man. Massive Star Wars fan. I, I love Rise of Skywalker. I'll go back and watch Rise of Skywalker. But I find it hard now for me to go back to watch any of those three movies. And the reason why I find it, like, as much as I love The Last Jedi, and I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you're a fucking moron for liking Last Jedi. Just hear me out. Um, as much as I did love Last Jedi, I can't go back and watch those films anymore because I know how it ends. I watch it and I look at it and I'm like, these people don't have a fucking clue what they're doing. I can go back and watch, you know, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, you know, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. I know how all those films end up and that they were always meant to be that way in some shape or form. But when you get to the sequel trilogy, it's like you watch Force Awakens and it kind of hurts. You know, it's sort of like, like if you have a crush on a girl but she doesn't like you, and you kind of have that feeling in the pit of your stomach, it's like, oh, I really love Force Awakens, but the franchise doesn't love me because it's going to ruin my heart by, by episode 9. And that's why I, I can't go back and rewatch them. Maybe one day I can go back and rewatch them, but right now it, it hurts to watch them because I know where it's going to end up. And now that I know, we all knew, let's be real, we all fucking knew that there was no goddamn game plan. We all knew Palpatine was never part of the plan, right? It's just now. Now we're getting confirmation from John Boyega and Daisy really like they were fucking stupid. So, oh, it bothers me. It bothers me. But there you go, guys. Right there in black and white, red all over. Daisy really comes out and confirms. This is a very misleading head headline. Reveals Obi-Wan originally. Like, no. She said toying. Toying, guys. Let, let's not run with that. But uh, the real thing is Lucasfilm lied to each and every one of us. They lied to us. They sat there and they, they force fed us a bunch of bullshit and they lied to us. And I'm sorry, Kathleen Kennedy, you got to go, girl. You got to go. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that like button. And um, until next time, guys, as always, I am Robert Storms. And that's my opinion. Later, guys.